You've created your Android app and successfully managed to run it on your Android device. Now the next step would be to release this app to the Google Play Store. For this we will need a signed AAV file. In this video I will guide you through the steps how to create such an AAV file and more importantly how to sign it without the need of Android Studio. We will use this example app which we have created in one of the previous videos. This is a Python project with the framework Kiwi and I have here my IDE PyCharm and I will also use the Ubuntu subsystem. So this will also work perfectly fine if you're using Ubuntu. To create the AAB file, we will use the build tool Buildozer. But before we continue, please make sure that Buildozer runs correctly on your system. I have a list of commands for a successful setup in the description below. First, we need to download the project. I have already downloaded it, so I will skip this part. And then we just go into the project. And there we already see a Buildozer spec file. If you run Buildozer the first time with this command here, it will automatically create such a Buildozer file. Now this Buildozer spec file is already configured for this project, which means all the libraries are there, everything is set up so it will run successfully on an Android device. To create an AAB file, we need to do a few adjustments. So I will open this Buildozer spec file in PyCharm. You could also just open it in the terminal. But I will do it now in PyCharm. First, we will need to set a package name. I simply called it Kiwi example in my example. <laughs> and a package domain. Then we need to scroll down and we need to uncommand this line here and set it to 30. Google recommends it if you try to upload some AAB file to their Google Play Store. As far as I know, this means it has support for Android 11. Then we need to scroll down until this line here where it says Android release artifact we need to uncommand it and set it to AAB. Then we also need to uncommand this line here and set it to develop. And that's about it. Then we need to save it. I go back to my terminal and I simply enter sudo buildozer android release and hit enter. And this will now create my AAB file. This might take a while and you will also need to agree to terms two times. Now I've successfully created my AAB file and we can find it in the bin folder. Now we simply need to sign our AAB file. For that we will create a signing key which is also called the upload key. And this upload key allows us to upload the AAB file to the Google Play Store. I'm back in the root directory and let's first create a new folder. And let's name it Keystores. And now let's create this signing key. Here we need to set the name of our signing key and here we can set the alias name. This is just for demonstration. Now this key is stored in the key stores folder and now we need to convert it. We can simply copy this command here and paste it here. And there we have now our new converted key. 
Now we need to connect the key with our AAB file. We go back into the project folder. We will build our AAB file again, but this time we set the parameters for the key and also the password and the alias name. So in my case, it would be like this. We have here the location of the key, the passwords, and also the name of the alias. And we can simply hit enter. And this will create a signed AAB file, which we can then upload successfully to the Google Play Store. And that's about it. If you want to know more about Buildozer and how to debug and deploy an app with it to your Android device, or if you're even interested in how to create a Kiwi app, which means a Python app with the Kiwi framework, then please check out my other videos. As always, I hope you could learn something from this video and I will see you in the next one.